Hello and welcome. My name is Michael and I am here to talk to you about productivity. Let's all say it together. Productivity. Now, I know that you are all busy students. It must feel like you have so much to do. So many tasks, so much homework, and so little time to finish everything. So today, I will tell you about some healthy habits and good strategies that help you be more productive, like ways to organize and work on your tasks, and some tips on actually completing your work. Let's get started. First, what is productivity? Productivity is effectively using your time to complete tasks that need to get done. Sometimes this seems impossible and sometimes we wait too long and then our work is not very good. Sometimes we work on too many things at the same time. So how can we be more productive in our work? Let's talk about habits. Habits are something that we practice and do consistently. That means the same every time. We do them so much that it becomes automatic. One of the best ways to do better work and accomplish more is to start healthy habits. Healthy habits are the foundation and the key to becoming more productive. One of the most important healthy habits is healthy sleep. The brain is a muscle that you are using every day. The brain gets its rest when you sleep. If you are not sleeping enough, your brain is not performing to the top of its ability. So how much sleep are we talking about and how can we start a healthy sleep habit? Did you know that children ages 6 to 12 years old need 9 to 12 hours of sleep a night? And teenagers 13 to 18 years old need 8 to 10 hours of sleep a night. That's you! Children and students who are not getting enough sleep have a higher risk of developing health and mental problems. Students who don't get enough sleep suffer from reduced focus, attention, and learning skills, as well as poor memory. Tired students often have trouble planning and organizing tasks and schoolwork. Planning on getting enough sleep can help you. If you plan to get enough sleep, it can help you learn more effectively it can help you be healthier and it can help you lower stress. Start your healthy sleep habits by setting a consistent bedtime. 
That's、uh, the same bedtime every night. Put down your phone and other screens an hour before your bedtime. Limit how much caffeine from coffee or cola that you drink each day. Get regular exercise, which also helps with thinking power. And set a regular rise time. That you have every day, so you wake up at the same time every day. It may seem difficult at first, but you will notice how much better you feel with regular sleep. You will be able to focus more. You will be more efficient, and your schoolwork will be higher. Quality. Take a few minutes and fill in your sleep schedule, or you can also write it in your notebook. Look at the sheet and pick a time to turn off your screens. Pick a time that you want to be asleep by, and pick a time that you want to wake up. Remember. That you should get at least eight hours of sleep. So take five minutes and fill in last night's time in your sleep schedule. Do your best to remember. Try to do this for the next week to see how much sleep you are actually getting. So start five minutes now.
right. Now that you are well rested, what's next? How do we work on our tasks? We need a strategy. A strategy is a type of plan. Everyone say strategy. Think about how you work best. Everyone is different. I will give you a few suggestions. It all starts with making a list. We need to organize our tasks. So step one, make a list and look at all of your tasks you need to complete. Ask yourself, what needs to get done first? Then, what needs to get done later? Hmm, let's take a look at my list. So I ordered my tasks from most important to least important. If you look, I already planned my lesson for tomorrow, so I checked it off. Now I am on number two, filming this video right now. After this video, I will grade student essays and then clean my classroom. So take five minutes and write down your tasks. Remember, put the most important first.
strategy of doing the most important first, it works best for me. But there are others. The best thing you can do is try different ways and see what works for you. Here is a strategy that works for some people. It's called the GTD strategy. It means get things done. This strategy is simple. Decide on your most distracting task not necessarily the most important, and put that at the top of your list. Then, the next distracting task, and so on. And then focus on the task at the top of your list, and work as hard as you can on that task with no distractions. Do not start anything new until it is complete. The next strategy has a funny name. It is called Eat the Frog. Because if you eat a frog at the beginning of the day, the rest of your day is easy. That means do the most difficult thing, your most difficult task first, and then the second most difficult thing when you are finished. That way, your day becomes easier as you complete tasks. And the third strategy. This is called the Pomodoro strategy. It is named after a tomato. Step one, decide on your task and find a good place to do it. Try to get rid of all distractions like your phone, TV, or even other people. Set a timer for 25 minutes and only work on your task for that 25 minutes. Do not multitask, but work as hard as you can. When the 25 minutes are up, Take a five-minute break and let your brain rest. Then, keep doing the 25 minutes and five-minute break until you finish the task. And when you finish the task, make sure you take a longer 30-minute break. A lot of people really like this strategy. One important thing, research shows that multitasking, working on more than one thing at a time, does not work. It may seem like a good idea, but actually it makes us do less work with lower quality. So focus on one thing at a time and complete it. Now that you've learned about ways to be more productive, it's time to think about your plan and what might work for you. But first, let's listen to how we create our plans and how we have a productive day. Here is my friend, Melissa. Hello, Melissa. Hi, Mike. Can you tell me how you plan and complete your day? Of course. So I start my day by taking out a new piece of paper. Oh. I write down all my tasks that I need to complete. Then I order them from most difficult to the easiest task. Then I work on the most difficult task first. I make sure to take five minute breaks every 25 minutes. How about you, Michael? Well, I also start my day with a new piece of paper and write down all my tasks. 
I order my tasks by due date. So what needs to get done first, I do first. Then I work on one task at a time, but I take a 30 minute break every three hours. I do this until everything is complete. What do you think, Melissa? Well, Michael, I think both our strategies sound great. Ah. Oh, I forgot to mention, I make sure I get at least eight hours of sleep at night. Mm. This helps me wake up and be more productive the next day. Wow, me too. Mm. Now, take some time and fill out this sheet. Try to think about what might help you complete your tasks. Remember, you can try a few different ways to see what works for you. So take five minutes and decide on a strategy or how you will order your tasks from most important or most distracting. Write down your tasks on this sheet.
Great. Now that you have your task list, I hope you can get them finished. I hope you find some strategies to help you be more productive. Great job and have a great day. Goodbye.